In today's video I will show you how to create save system for our game. So first let's start from create c -sharp script, let's name it save system and now what we want to do is to save data for our game. Uh, first let's create function called save public void save and to save game <coughs> we'll use <coughs> player prefs. So let's try it. To save uh, data for our game, we need to call player press library. Then <coughs> we need to choose what value we want to save. Uh, first, let's save our money. It will be the easiest. So to save our money, we have it in float value, as you remember, uh, in float value, sorry, as you can remember here. So let's Right, player pref set float. And now <clears throat> we need to provide name, and under that name, our value will be stored. So it will be money. This is the, the name we'll call then to load our money value. So this is uh, money. Then after comma, we write a value we want to save. So it will be game manager dot instance that money so this this one this one here is reference to our uh, to our money here and this one here is the name of the value that will be stored in a file so to load game um, let's write we divide loads uh, in few function but first let's write byte load load money. So to load money we we'll just need to call <clears throat> we we'll just we will call our money because we need to set value for our money so just instance that money and to get value from our file we we'll, we just need to write player press that get float and let's write money that way value of our money will be oh sorry value of our money will be loaded from file okay uh, to save uh, we want also to save the levels of our max fuel um, our level of uh, straight speed level and trust force level and let's maybe copy those values can I do it no we can do it like that okay so let's copy what we want to save also uh, rocket control trust force max fuel level uh, this is uh, Load mm, and max fuel level, trust force level, and stray speed level. Okay, and all of that values are float. Okay, okay, so to do that, we'll need to find first reference to our rocket because we need to. So we need to take the values from our rocket controller script. So let's write reference just here. Rocket controller. Let's write RC here. The rocket controller is equal to get component. Uh, sorry, find object with that. Uh, get sorry get component sorry no 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 get component find object of type find object of type yeah that was I was looking for find object of type rocket controller and now we'll have reference for our rocket controller RC and now to save our data just need to 
write the same function we did here. So let's write four times. So now we just want to set float for transfers level and function for that will be rc rc dot trust uh, trust horse level okay and we just need to do the same things for money for uh, max fuel and straight speed level so now i want to Mm, yeah, need to change that one. I see max fuel level, and here we want to write RC dot strafe speed level. Okay, so that's the values we want to get from our rocket, what we want to save on our rocket, and also we want to save. Uh, max force from our uh, launch platform so to get that let's check our launch platform for the name launch force multiplier level that's how we called it okay so let's copy it again here we need to call reference for our uh, we need also reference for our launch platform so let's write launch platform dot launch, launch platform is equal to find object of type launch platform and here let's write launch platform okay let's change the name and launch platform dot max force uh, multiplier <clears throat> okay so now if we call that function anywhere in our game our game status will be saved um, ah yeah one important thing we want our save system to be singleton so we've already done that for our game manager so we can do it again we can just copy that function here, here. okay so that's uh yeah and one more thing yeah public static uh launch platform instance <coughs> we just forget that. static launch platform instance okay now we can call Get set accessors or yeah okay okay now uh, why instance this oh yeah because I wrote launch platform no oh, save system here save system yeah now it's correct okay so that's how we save our game and to load money we will just need to call that function so on the start of game manager we just want to load money uh where's start in our game manager there is no one no start probably no start function so on the start right Start. We just want to call our save system that load instance that load money uh, function, and we want yeah, and that way our money will be updated with value from our file we've said before but one more thing we want also to update text with our money our money text so let's check where it's updated 
uh, it should be updated on add money yeah so we could just call blind the function add money we just want to update that text so that text that money text we can update yeah that line is okay for us so we can just write that function so that way our money will be loaded and text showing how much money we have will also be uh, updated uh, okay and what more mm, what's what's more uh, we want to load values for our um, rocket so on the start we don't we want to have possibility to update trace speed trust force and etc so let's go to our game manager uh, sorry save system let's go to our save system and let's here write public void low row get param yeah from the parameters let's load rocket parameters and to do that we will have once again create reference for the rocket do we want that no because uh, hmm. uh yeah we can do that We will need reference for a rocket um, controller. And now what we want to do is just write rocket and like yeah, we need the, just those values. Rocket trust force. Let's make it equal to something and in a moment I will um max fuel level and stray speed yeah level and those will be equal to um <coughs> higher press that get float get float with the name of Okay, and the same function for the rest. Okay, and let's save the script, and now we can call that script from our from our launch uh, from our rocket controller so let's go to our rocket controller and on the start we just want to write save system dot load I search that instance dot load rocket parameters and that's all and it will update all the parameters and one last thing we want to do is to update launch platform launch force multiplier on launch platform uh, so from our C system we just want to um, public void load load platform parameters uh, okay and that's the parameter so we can do the same trick as we did here but now we will just ah, sorry, we have that line already here so let's make that line um, so now what we want to do we can copy this line and edit it and write it again so here we have uh, launch platform launch platform 
and yeah, charge multiply. Let's save that and let's go to our launch platform and on the start, let's load uh, sorry, save system. Let's call save system dot instance dot that load platform params and the parameters will be set and what we need to do more is just to create here empty rename it to save system I'm recording here yeah, I'm recording okay and reset here and yeah let's add our save system here let's make prefab of that that's right make it here uh, one important thing please check if you don't have doubled uh, start method in game manager i had that issue i just fixed it quickly uh, so now yeah let's also add save system for test in our scene here on gameplay save that one is prefabs where is safe system uh, prefabs yeah safe system yeah one important thing we want to save game also when we die or where when we have game over so to do that let's go to our obstacle uh, when we have our function we die we we didn't use the, our save system function yet, so it's very important to do that. Mm. So first in our rocket controller, when we have game over, uh, when our fuel is zero, uh, where is it? Mm. Let's go for game. Ah, yeah, we can call that function game over in our game manager anyway. Mm. So let's make it here. Uh, let's make it save. It's a better place to call save system instance that save. Okay, so all of our variables for our game will be saved. Yeah, we are also calling game over when we hit the rock. So it's much better to do it here. So now we can test. Uh, where is some rock? Let's hit the rock. Uh, the small rock. Okay, our fuel will. Ah! We picked up the fuel. Uh, yeah, we have small stray speed. Okay, yeah, rock. Boom. We have destroyed our rocket. We've received one point half dollar for that. So, okay, not restart. Let's press play. And as you can see here, our one point half dollar is added to our uh, to our money bank. So I think that's all I was going to show in today's video. So we've created save system for our game, and on the next episode uh, we'll um, upload our game for tests uh, on the Play Store. So if you like today's video, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.